What is up guys, Ross Thomas here for the brotographer.com and what you just saw there was video autofocus with Canon lenses on the Sony a7R Mark III. So after I released my autofocus test using the a7R III with Canon L and Tamron glass that you guys really enjoyed, a few comments down there in the comment section said that it was possible to get video autofocus as well. So I wanted to test it out for myself. Now, what you need to know to get video autofocus is that you cannot use it in green mode. It's only advanced mode. What that means is it's gonna use a much smaller portion of the frame for your video autofocus. Right now, I've got the Canon 35 millimeter F1.4 L Mark II attached to the Sony a7R III. And what we're able to get now is handheld five axis stabilized footage on the a7R III using amazing prime lenses like this 35L Mark II. So just a settings rundown real quick. I'm shooting at f1.4, shutter speed of 1 50th. My tracking sensitivity is set to standard and my other speed is set to normal. So nothing's high, nothing's low. Now, I don't think this is gonna be something that you're gonna wanna do for like gimbal movements unless you can keep your subject right smack dab in the center of the frame but for talking headpieces, interviews that, that you wanna shoot at a super shallow depth of field or wide aperture where your subject might be moving in and out, it's gonna be something that might be a really good option for you. And just the fact that this is possible is absolutely amazing. So let's check out a little test I did handheld with 35L Mark II, wide open at 1.4 and also F2 of my wife. All right guys, let's test out the autofocus on the Canon 35 millimeter f 1.4 l mark ii the a7 r3 and the metabones mark IV adapter keep in mind that we are in advanced mode not in green mode so the autofocus area is going to be the center portion a little less wide than her shoulders and a little wider than her head so for example let's go off her for a second you can see we focus on the background we're at f2 and focused on her face and background and her face. Let's see how well she stays in focus moving around her. Now this is amazing because now we're getting stabilized video shot with the 35 millimeter. This is a beautiful lens. We drifted out of focus a little bit there. As long as you're keeping her relatively in the center of the frame, she is going to be in focus. Now, if we open it up to f1.4, look at that, guys. Background in focus, and back to Beth. About one second to get her in focus. So this is by no means a comprehensive test, but I just wanted to bring this video to you guys. I haven't seen anything out there on the internet in relation to it you are able to get video autofocus on the sony a7r3 with the metabones mark IV adapter that i have on there and probably most canon l glass so just a heads up the way that you get into advanced mode on the metabones mark IV adapter is to attach the adapter to the camera and detach the lens now hold in the little depth of preview button on the lens adapter while you're screwing in the lens to the body and the camera is on. Once you do that, you should see the continuous autofocus area go from its very wide, 493 points, to the center of the frame. And once you see that, you know you're in advanced mode. If you wanna get it out of advanced mode, back into green mode, hold down the button again, remove the lens, and you'll be back in green mode. So let me know down below in the comments section if this is an important feature to you with your Canon glass on your Sony a7R Mark III. Is this gonna be something that you guys are gonna use in your interviews or even try and throw up there in a gimbal? How are you gonna use it? Also, is it better than the GH5's autofocus with the native glass? Anyways, I'm Ross Thomas for thebrotographer.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that little bell to get notifications when I release new videos just like this one. I will see you in the next one. Peace.